Hello, hello, hello. I will discuss with you the solutions to this high school problem. You throw up a rock and one second later you throw up another one in such a way that they collide. So this was the situation how I explained it. This is my y-x coordinate system. Both rocks are trajectories only in that plane. At t equals zero, rock number one is thrown up with this x speed and this y speed and at that moment in time it is at location zero zero. One second later from a different location, from the location x equals 1, y plus 1, I throw up a second stone at an angle alpha, and I only gave you the velocity of that second stone, which is 10. I want to know at what time the collision occurs, at what x it is then, at what y it is then, and I would also want to know the angle alpha. And the problem is simpler than you may think. So this is the standard equation for x1. For starters, I give stone 1 its own time t1, and I give object 2 his own time t2. And when you do that, clearly t1 is t2 plus 1 because this object is thrown up one second later than that one. But for now I have T1s here and T2s. So this is the standard equation for object 1, and this is the position, the y position for object 1, this is the x position for object 2, and this is the y position for object 2. High school physics. Now, at the collision, x1 must be x2, and of course y1 must also be y2. If you put these equal to each other, you can immediately solve for t2. t2 is then 0.8 seconds, and therefore t1, which we have called the time t, is 1.8 seconds. So now that you know where this object is, this object number one, where that object is after 1.8 seconds, you immediately find that after 1.8 seconds, which you substitute now in this equation, and in this equation, you'll find then that x is 9 and y is 1.8. So x is 9, which is somewhere here, and y is 1.8, which is somewhere here. Since you know this now, you can use this equation, because you know that y is 1.8, and so you can now solve for vy2. That is the y component, of the speed in the y direction of object 2. You'll find then that Vy2 is 5 and therefore the angle alpha, the tangent of the angle is then 5 divided by the 10. Problem solved. So here you see the picture so this is the trajectory of object number one. It starts at t equals zero. It reaches its highest point at t equals one. And that highest point will be five, if you're interested in that. And if there were no collision here, object number one would hit the ground here after two seconds at x equals 10. All that follows immediately from the fact that you know everything about object 1 that has to be known. 
So, we calculated that alpha is 26.6 degrees. And so the trajectory of alpha, by the way, it starts here at t equals 1. So when object number 1 is here, that's the moment that object number 2 is shot up in the sky. And then they collide here. x equals 9, y equals 1.8, and the time t is 1.8 seconds. Well, I wonder how many correct answers I'm going to get. I make a prediction. I predict at least 50%. I don't know yet when I will post this problem. Maybe November, maybe December. But my prediction still stands, since this is such a classical high school problem, the number percentage of correct solutions will be 50% or even higher. Have a nice day, take care, and surely, surely we will be friends. That is a given. It's really a given.